I'm going to be doing a video on how to modify an FL250, a Honda Odyssey's driven clutch to set the wider Yamaha sled belt or a snowmobile larger sled belt to work on your FL250. Right here I have a 340cc Yamaha Enticer mounted into a FL250 Honda Odyssey. And uh, to make it work right, I needed to widen the driven clutch to accept the uh, wider sled belt. So uh, what I read on the internet and stuff, you can put spacers in there. But uh, to widen it, you know, as much as I did, I would think that if you add a bunch of spacers in there, it would put more tension on the spring, which would change how the, the unit shifts. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what I was thinking. So what I did was I have... Uh, FL250 Honda Odyssey reduction unit here with the driven clutch on it and it's kind of in pieces right now but I think I can work with it explain this um, down there below it right here I have the the Yamaha sled belt as you can see if I set it up here it doesn't it doesn't fit in there that good and it was sticking out you know quite a ways and uh, yeah, I wasn't happy with that so what I did was I took off this cam right here the driven clutch cam and I took this down to the machine shop and uh, you see that ring right there on top that's where the snap ring sits I had the machine shop take three sixteenths off that 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 limb right there or rim and basically just made it three sixteenths smaller what that did was it enabled me to move this plate should slide up if I had two hands. It enabled me to move this plate up three sixteenths for the wider belt. See how it slides up? Without changing the spring rate, because now, without changing the spring rate, because now this is three sixteenths shorter, which let the whole unit widen up without letting any more tension off the spring. Um, I put it all together and it seemed to work. Shifts real good, works fine, plenty of bottom end. Uh, I'm real happy with it. Now, even some sled belts are even bigger. So you'd have to do the math on the figure that, you know, what size motor you have. And I never measured these belts, but I'm not, they're both sled belts, but one's bigger than the other by an eighth inch or so. Um,. So yeah, that's what I did, and everything seems to work. The guy charged me $25 to machine it, because I don't have a lay, the tools to do that. And uh, if you're wondering how I got this cam off, you can see there how it's broke. I tried using a three-jaw puller on that, and it just ended up snapping the, the cam. So what I learned to do is, you see those three holes there? I just tap those out, tap those out, drill it tap it to the correct size and uh, put my polar plate on it and they pop right off with the with the impact so yeah the belt sits here here it is the finished product the belt sits out you know I don't know about an eighth inch from what I read that's about normal the the stock Honda FL250's belt is quite smaller and it goes in there more but I just couldn't see uh, open it that wide Oh, and I also, after I opened this up 3 16 I had the machine shop machine me a 3 16 aluminum spacer. And I put the spacer in between the two plates, in between the two plates to keep it from, you know, pinching the belt or, you know, not, it's not riding where it should be. So in theory, what I did was I just opened the clutch up to take the, the wider belt and I didn't change any of the geometry on the, on the unit itself. Uh, I wrote it a couple times. There's a couple uh, pictures on YouTube, me flying up a hill. It's on my cell phone, so that video ain't too good. And I got some riding out in front of my house, and I haven't really put, you know, more than 20 minutes on this so far. So I'm kind of still in the test stage, but real, but so far I'm, I'm really happy. And uh, let's see if I can get a back view of this here and show you guys what I'm, what I'm dealing with. Use the stock muffler off the sled, the sled air box. Um, mounted that little bar there you see on the motor. And got it up about 
The lowest I can get it was about six inches or so. But, you know, it's not sticking way up in the air. But, yeah, that's my uh, FL250 I'm working on. Got a nice little headrest there. And there's another one back there I'm working on now, too. So, if you guys stay tuned. I'm going to be riding these. Uh, I'm going to be riding them like I stole them. And I should have so much more videos because I just got this little flip camera. So, uh, subscribe and check back often. Thanks.